Talk about okay. <laughs> some example or some approach that we use with the project regarding UAV and ROV data collection. The picture you see on the right, your baby. Hey, it's Jason. It's Jason. Jason. You will see him do not tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Tuesday. Okay. Your first call will be with him. You nice. And uh, that is in ROV. So go under the water and collect focus under the water. This is the DJI Phantom 4, Fabio. Make the drone fly. The drone fly. What does it stand for? Remotely operated vehicle or something? Which one? ROV. Remote operating Astral. vehicle. Yeah, and UAV for who doesn't know. Unmanned aircraft vehicle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. This is the drone that we used this morning. It's not very big, just one kilogram drone, but has a 20 megapixel camera, so you have one of these. Are you taking it with us tomorrow? The drone? Possibly, yeah, yeah. Because we have to survey the dike tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to survey the vertical cliff of the caldera with the dike, so wait for me, please. <laughs> and, uh, okay, it's just to show you the drone. Uh, so again, what is it? So remotely, you are controlling it all the time? Yes, with the joystick. And for, with, with the drone, you can do the same. Sorry, guys, can we postpone the question after? On well, the contrary, we will never be on time. We need to see yeah. that it's not good. Well, a semantic description of the term. Okay, just start. Just come on. <laughs> then on the right, you see a picture taken from the above, from the drone. And there, there is one of my colleagues that is collecting in a ground control point using a very good GPS. Yeah. And that is a fraction. Yeah. Yeah. And we have also this. What is that? This is a football games. Okay, look, which of them is going to die? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> this is... Two, Alex, okay. This is the temperature of the iPod is 26 degrees Celsius, more or less. Okay, this is the one that you will use to make measurements for the temperature. Okay. okay, you have already seen this image, just to remind you that there are different types of drones. Marco can explain probably the difference between fixed wings and rotors. One's got motors, one's got fixed wings. <laughs> the advantage of using a drone like this one is that more or less you can take off and land everywhere. For example, or also in Iceland. It's a problem to have a very large place in Iceland without lavas, without pinkos, without a lot of things. So it's better if you, if you use one of these to put this one in the or you can land in a very small place. Okay. The fixed wing have a large, larger battery, so it can, can fly over a large area, but it needs space for starting, for take off, and for landing. So we can throw it, say, for. And it, need, it needs to land. Exactly. But it's got, it's got, a, lot of, it's got a lot of the flight time. The battery. So it's, it's way longer. The flight much longer. But so it's, it's, it's a big advantage. But probably in Iceland we can use this. Are we in Iceland? Next mission. I just saw in Iceland. A fixed wing. That one? Really? Yeah. Did, did you describe it? No, that's fine. No? We landed in the. Um, we had a net. Okay. And the biggest one that's landing on the sea. Yeah. Oh, so, good. And then an optocopter that has a larger battery. Probably you can mount a better camera than a better megapixel. You can try to mount a 50 megapixel camera. You can imagine the resolution of the ground. And then the smaller one. But why using drone? You already know. People from Italy already know. Look at this video to explain why. <laughs> Should be nice to use a drone. <coughs> yes, you know, you know very well this video. <laughs> because the drone is a product. You can drive with your drone also close to areas where no one can access. For example, this is a video from Bardaburga eruption from Iceland from 2014. In this case, no one can access to see the process during the eruption. But making this drone footage, you can follow the eruption, the evolution. Keep in mind that in 
the yellow area and the desert close to 1,200 degrees more or less to be the maximum. So, and there are toxic, ga toxic gases, so it's not possible to go there. You can go after that the process ends, but you need to see the process during this activity. So, the drone can help us to see processes in areas that we cannot access due to logistic conditions and something similar, or because, they, or because they are too far, or because they are too, too much up respect to us. That's why the first step drones are useful. We already seen this video, so we can skip. How we are used to make a salvo with the drone? We have two ways. One is manually, you can drive the drone on your own, but it's quite difficult. You spend a lot of time and energy in driving the drone on your own, and you are not sure about the overlap. Because to make a map, you need a big overlap among the photos. We usually see around 80% of overlap in both directions. So look on the right. The green line is the path that the drone followed when solving the famous, famous gravity. The path was designed by the software. Now we're going to see the software. So you select the area, you start the mission, you collect some ground control points on the ground. And then you make the flight. You cover the area with the drone in an ideal position, usually, so the camera is oriented orthogonal to the ground to collect the photos. And then you put all the photos in the software, like the one that is running on my computer. It is trying to align all the photos of the camera using the GPS information that is included in the photos by the chipset on the drone. That will record the altitude where you take the photo. Then you record start the sparse cloud, the less point cloud, create the 3D model, <laughs> so create the mesh, create all the triangular faces that we were talking about, and then the orthomosaic mosaic and the digitalization model. This is just a couple of images. Of the work you see the, the operator that uses an iPad connected to the instrument. And you can see every time where the drone is, what is uh, going on, and you can drive the drone in the same manner you move in the virtual reality. So you can go forward, back, right, left, up, down, you can go left, and you can go right. And you can Pilot your drone. But you need to collect some ground control points of the ground using very high accuracy GPS and high accuracy camera technology. The target must be well visible <laughs> in the ground, on the contrary, you, you would pay. Yes, it's a ch little China, I call it, call it little China's computer. Yes. And then this is an example of the results. In this case, we have done two different sizes, but above the same area. One flying 100 meters above the target, and the other one flying 50 meters above the target. The idea was to reconstruct the small area to distinguish folds from fractures. This is what we have done. Flying uh, 100 meters above the terrain, you have a result resolution around 80 centimeters, but with a 12 megapixel camera. With this kind of camera, the resolution desired should be around 6 or 5. The other image, uh, flying above 50 meters, the result the resolution was 2 centimeters of the other side. It is really enough to see some geological things. This is a digital elevation model resulting from both flight with the software. And as you can see, you can really distinguish the depressed area within the central part with respect to the outer part. So it is a gap. And you can take a lot of pressure along each of sky. You can quantify in very high detail the vertical object along all the 
uh, in the lower part you can see a couple of uh, topographic profiles across the area. Another thing that we have done with the draws was to collect a very high number of opening direction of the fractures. Because due to cooling processes in hydrogen, you have columnar drawing. When the fractures opens, you can see the twisting <coughs> points. So you can measure the direction of opening of these fractures. Using the draw, we construct a large area and we collected more than 270 measures in a time that was less than hour by this survey. Less and less than hour. So, in a very short time. And also, we can create the item for the virtual reality. Again, I would like to stress this point because we create a good ambient for virtual reality to give a very good resolution. And the only instrument you have to apply a multi is a draw. There's no other way. You can uh, write an helicopter, probably, but it's too much expensive. Okay? Yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> so, the idea, guys, is to try in group, if you would like to form groups, that each of group, each of you, each group of you, try to plan a mission. To plan a mission for the survey, for a survey. Start with a new mission. No, no, start with a new mission. Okay. Select 3D area map. Okay. Then <coughs> up. Okay. So first we have to see where is Neakamini. Of which area? Of Nea Kamini, which area Nea Kamini. Nea Kamini. Tomorrow we are going to Neakamini, so try to be confident with Neakamini. Uh, because we need we need the, an internet connection. Okay. So we can imagine. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I can share my Okay, he is downloading the map. Come faccio a fare? Ho un piano di volo con una parete verticale. Non puoi. Non posso con questo. La fai da sopra e poi gli metti la mano. Ma esiste solo. Ok, fatelo prima la vostra scala, dai. Però come cioè posso farlo? So probably the uh, brown uh, color are the reason most lovely. Do we have a pattern? Should we should we just circular here? Batteries. You have just three batteries. Does the software tell you how long the, the flight would take? Like, how are we supposed to? You will see on the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, right. this can set. <laughs> but also considering what? See the you, you have button. to consider the altitude. The <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Flying uh, around 50 meters. Okay, now 80 meters is 2 centimeters at the ground. No, no, no. Si può anche cambiare la risoluzione. Sì, si può anche adesso quello che ho messo. Tu. Tu. Minus, non più. Minus. 5 minus per ogni risoluzione. Ma il risultato di risoluzione è 3 cm. Do you think that should be enough for virtual reality or no? No. No. So you have to fly to lower altitude. Okay, they are choosing the dimension of the area and see how, how the flight time changes and the number of batteries change as well as the number of photos that we are going to collect change. Okay? But go to the other part. You can set the overlap ratio among the photos. Yes. Now we set around 80% really? 
along the, dire the direction of the flight. In 77, with the lateral photo. Based on my experience, this is a good overlap to obtain something. Very good. Then, what you can set the first symbol, this one, you can change the trajectory of the survey. For example, if I have to survey the full scar, okay, it is a vertical object, but with the night overlap of the photo, taken during the flight, you can see sometimes the face of the scar. So it's better to cross the scar to try to obtain a better result than flying parallel, for example. Then the gimbal pitch angle, you can see, is minus 90 degrees. So, Nadir, so you take a photo all of them from the above. This is the approach for topographic mapping to create a good digital terrain model. Can I check the parameters? Yes. Okay. Of course. It's good, but it is possible that there is a problem that needs to be resolved. Or there is a point. <laughs> Guys, look at the speed. The drone has planned this mission at a velocity around 6.5 meters per second. Why? Why this velocity? This is a default velocity from the software, so I suppose that the drone will fly very well, collect all the cameras, and the work will be done very well. Can I ask you why it's that speed? Why that speed? Uh, for the speed of the shutter and how much overlap you want? Yes, and also the altitude. The closer you are to the ground, lower will be the velocity. For example, in the survey this morning, we tried at 2.3 meters per second. But we fly 20 meters above. Yes? Why does it tell us how long it's going to fly for? Yeah, you say the battery is growing. Yeah, like the time. Sorry, I switched to the other page. 42 minutes. Probably 42 minutes, just two batteries, not three. The software is very, very conservative. So, based on the experience, I think that you can reach 50 or 55 minutes of flight, so try to enlarge a bit the area. Does it carry all three batteries with it, or does it come back down when it's about to run out of battery? Sorry? Well, obviously three batteries. Yes. When it runs out of the first one, are all three on board? Okay, you can, uh, does it just come back down? Pause the mission, um, and then resume the mission from the latest one. This is what we have done. Oh, okay, perfect. So now we, uh, you said 50 minutes, and we are 45 minutes. Okay. They created their mission, probably it's conservative because 45 minutes, maybe just two batteries, not three. But this day. But it's windy. But it's windy? Yes. Okay. They are correct. Thank you. But, <laughs> but if you have a little experience, yes. you can try to back the drone at 15% of battery, <laughs> and so you can fly a lot more. Okay, next, next room. Okay, new mission, 3D map area. Yes, tap. Tap means that you create your point on the tablet. Okay, you can zoom in, zoom out, select an area, push the screen, and then you start playing the animation. A point of interest. Hold the eye. I tried. Yeah. Eh? Too much battery. <laughs> 24 batteries. <laughs> How many batteries do you have, Mark, for tomorrow? And then no, the problem is it's not the number of batteries, but how many times we have tomorrow, we will stay probably a couple of hours. Okay. There's no time. Okay. Wait. <laughs> and what about the overlap? Is in advanced bar? Okay. Is enough? 
you think that is enough? Let's try to increase a degree to see what happens with the flight time duration. Okay, sorry, sorry guys, there is just one big rule in photogrammetry. You need an overlap at least of 60%. 60. So don't go lower that value. But in Iceland, we try to make a survey using 70 and 70. DTM, the DTM has some problems. So it's better to say no lower than 75, more or less. <coughs> Try to move the course angle far. Oh, my. Now, now it's good, it's good. It's a good survey. Okay, if you move, you can change the direction of the flight. Another important point, you can see the green circle with, with the nest inside. That is the starting point, not where the drones take off, but the starting point of the mission. So when you try to plan a mission, it's better if you start far away from you, and then you end the mission close to you, because in case of emergency, or in case of battery run out, or in case you have just one, one path to do, you are around 20%, you can do that. If the drone is very far away, it is a bit oh, weepy, yeah. there is a very little possibility that you lost the drone. <laughs> very little. Very little. Okay. <laughs> so my question is, what are you mapping? <laughs> Maybe a few crater or something. <laughs> I don't understand what is a call time. It's the direction of the path. It's better to the north, yes. Because, as I was saying before, if you have a vertical surface and you start with the, the surface passing through with the higher of our level along the path, you have a good possibility to reconstruct the vertical surface. If you go parallel, you have a lower overlap, so lower, lower side. Yes? Yes, this is implemented the software, we will see it a bit tomorrow. You have a big button that you can push and, and uh, stop the mission for a while. You change the battery, then there is another button that says start the mission from the latest moment. So we haven't done it so far. Will you see tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Another group? Do something of interest. For the school, for example. For Joe Hazard, who can gather in San Torino. Yeah. Yeah. Can you change the starting point yourself? Um, okay, good point. To change the starting point, you have to move the course angle. Ah, okay. It's the only ah, way. Okay. Ah, okay. It's the only way included in this software. It's just a software. Okay. okay. Yeah, because we tried it tapping and it's just... Yeah, where you are in the field? Yeah, yeah in, in the port area. In the port, in where? The port area. Where? Of oh, Macavi. Oh, uh, I think we are... Uh, okay, this is another uh, point. Please, show me, because we are speaking about another very important point. Show me on the screen, the big screen, where you take off with the drone. Okay. Yeah. There, from there? Okay. Sorry, I don't agree with you. Why? I said so. You said, are you talking with the other person or with us? Come. I, I, I don't have it. Okay, I don't agree with you. Who agree with you or who don't agree? Ah, no. Uh, if this plan, this is the point, but if, if you ask if it's correct or not. To take off from here. Yes, there are two mistakes. I, one is 
third one is that you can't go there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? Yeah, you can't go there, you can't approach this. No, this is... Okay. Come on, you, you are, you are, if you're George, you can go everywhere. Ah, oh, okay. okay. I, I the first the thing, fall there, uh, this is my personal suggestion based on, based on experience, that you have to take off from the higher point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, from that point you can see the drone fly everywhere. On the contrary, you cannot. You cannot be sure that the, the drone is going to have a crash somewhere. And then start to yell. And there are, the second mistake is that, that it, they were starting from the same point of the starting mission. But it's better that the starting point is very far away from you. A bit more to work in a no. safer manner. No? <coughs> the service is very near to the sea. And oh, so? Near Pierre de It's a risk. But you know that we have a special fear for that. Yes, I know, <laughs> but they don't. <laughs> they don't? But you have the image? Yes, I have. I think you should be taking the image. Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, okay, thank you. We can move to the, to the later. Last group? Last group? Group? Tomorrow, if we have time in the field, or who and never drive it on, we can try to make a very little survey with a spark with a smaller one. So you can do your own map if we have time. It depends on the activity suggested from there. This is the, the mine that we are going to serve in the next days. We are serving this part in a very, very high resolution. My computer is working all the, all the time. OK, now we need to cover the remnant part. So please make a plan. New? New? Yes. 3D map, 3D map. Oh. Map, map. Okay, sorry, just a brief introduction. This is the central one is to make a flight, as we see. There are other kind of um, approach the, of mission that you can approach, but this one is to serve the buildings. It turns around an object, but it's not useful. No, can you do that? Say, if you want to imagine the vertical wall of the quarry, yeah, should we do a flight plan for the building or no? Why not? Because I have looked very quickly to the software, he goes around an object. Oh, okay. In vertical way, but he always goes around, so okay, okay I bought it. Or okay, in, in this, can you control uh, the camera angle in this software? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, so <coughs> can you say put the camera angle facing horizontally and then image the face of the quarry? Uh, theoretically, you can, but okay. it creates mapping for. Yeah, no, no, I'm just curious because I use other software that didn't do that. Exactly. And also, you can plan a mission, <coughs> but this is for making videos, okay. not for collecting cameras. Yeah. I don't know. I never tried. Because it's something like the one that we really Yes, but I don't know. Pretty much. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay. Please remember that we have just three batteries. Okay. No, we and we need a good resolution for virtual reality. And the fixed wind. How you avoid? How you? Uh, the point. Uh, okay. We have we have boxes, but okay, well, we have since you did that one. Yes. This, uh, the the entrance of the mine. We want all of this. Yes. Okay. So we have to do it. Yeah. 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 He's trying to make a plan to complete the survey at the mine. Okay, we already started this area where we are going to work in the field. And in the meantime, I, I'm going to complete the survey covering this area. Suggest us please the best speed. The speed is very good, the altitude is good enough. And the resolution at the ground is around one centimeter. Uh, it's very good, it's yeah. pretty good. Okay. But what about the other plan? Yes. Okay. Next point. 
So you work in this sector. Yes, you must be concerned with one person. Exactly. In this case, from my point of view, 50 minutes, three batteries, not four, is conservative, suggested from the software. The overlap is very good. The idea is correct, so probably we will have a good result. But there is a important point. Vera, show out where you are thinking of taking off. Ah, where I will stand. Yes. Now, where, where we start the mission with the drone? Okay, from that point. So probably with... Okay, but we... Sorry, guys, sorry. Okay, we have two things. One point is where, is where the drone starts the mission. But the drone take off from another point then fly to the starting point and start the mission. Okay? okay. So show me the takeoff. We'll have nine minutes for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have nine minutes. Oh. We have nine minutes more. Okay. For the drone to go from <laughs> the starting point. Okay, so you are meaning that you are take off from here. Yes. yes. Okay. Somewhere. It's a good point because you are above the query. So so if you fly 30 meters higher than the highest point, you are quite sure that you will not have any crash with your drone. Okay? And they plan to start from the farther point. So it seems to be a good mission. We didn't make this. We didn't uh, collect a point to start. How did the software do that? The starting point. How they can change the starting point? We, we only Change the okay. Moving this button. But pay attention that the starting point for the mission is for the drone, and the takeoff point that is named home point in the software, home point, is for you. Okay, this is very, very different. And another question the 30 meters um, altitude is from. 30 meters from the altitude that I am, or 40 me 30 meters from you? It's 30 meters from where the drone take off. Okay, so we have to calculate also where is the higher, maybe the, the point that the, the drone yes. will start the, exactly. the mission is higher exactly. than you have to check this. You have to check this. In this case, yeah. all around it, you know, the, the Yes, around is almost planar. Almost planar. The difference should, should be around five meters. So that's why this morning we fly in a, with a safe altitude around 20 meters and not 50 to be sure that we avoid this collision. But we discovered a, a very problematic obstacle electricity line. Oh. Electricity line. The, oh, yeah. Uh, Fortunately, they are located only here, so we will make a plan that will exclude this area. This area will die by the pilot. It's the only way. Can you, same problem. Can you import uh, ship files into here to have overlays, like if you have infrastructure data, like the power lines, so that you can see it when you're planning your missions? What you can import is just uh, an area to create the mission. You cannot add other points. You can't yeah. add, so you, this. Imagery is loaded into the software? It's is, is, uh, free from Google Maps. But you added it to the software, right? You had to go pull you that You mean data. the image? The no, image. no, it's uh, from the internet. You cannot upload anything. Oh, okay. There are probably other software you can do this, but I can try. Because it's, this software is very easy. It's very easy, so yeah. it's enough. There are problems with the vertical thing. Okay, guys, just to conclude, I would like to show you a big mission. Vera, yes, sir. <laughs> to show you a big mission that I planned 
to survey the dice area from the above, entirely from the above. Why? To create a topography first, and then, anyway, to see the dice. Because tomorrow we are trying to survey this area from the boat, but we don't know anything about the wind condition, about the birds that can attack the drone. So it is possible that we can fail. So we need a plan B. This is the plan B. It's a very enormous area, 11 batteries, and around 4,000 photos. But it's a big challenge. I would like to do, I hope to have the opportunity to do it. <laughs> depends on the way the game, the game, and the game. But I have four batteries, Malcolm has other four batteries, probably we can try to do this survey. And, uh, Maybe increasing a, a bit the, the altitude. Christos. 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 Christos, okay. So probably we can do this. Is, is, can, can we use two or three uh, phantoms, let's say? Not at the same time. No, 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 it's the same time. Yes, we can do that. And then merge the... the this is, an, this is a good areas. point. Because what is tricky in this mission is that the area is very large. I really don't like it. So you can make an overall plan, and it's better that you divide the area in sub-areas with a, a night overlap, of course, a two-part overlap, but you can work in a safer manner. Work, usually, I plan areas with no more than three batteries. So this, what, what this is, is what's the flying height? I can't see. What's the flying height? The flight? The flying height is 50 meters from the starting point. Okay. And I said, I look through the DTM. There is a good point here, another good point here, another good point here, another good, another good point here, and another good point here. That are the I guess in in the right. Say 50 meters from the starting point or from the takeoff point? From the takeoff, okay. the starting point. Sorry, good, good point. Yes, we think that term because the starting point is for the mission and the right. takeoff point is for the. Okay. Because so, okay. it just like takes off and lands, it just calculates yes. wherever it goes. It doesn't know the elevation data in here. That's correct. Oh, okay. And then the ca uh, the info capture through the drone regarding the GPS is the real altitude of the drone. Yeah. It's not the elevation mm -hmm. from the takeoff point. The other point suggested from uh, <coughs> Gregorio <laughs> is that, okay, if you w work close to the sea, where you have your safe point, your home point, is on the Navy that is moving. Oh. It's on the boat that is moving. Yeah. So you cannot refer as what the drone at all. Can you drive it and then drop it? Can you? You can drive it to yourself and then have it just drop. Yeah, to tell, yeah. to tell it to follow you. Yes, yes, there are, but if you are uh, running this mission, you are doing something different, you have to change software. Okay. We can't use switch to manual work, can you? So if it's doing automatic flights, you can, as it's coming towards you, you can switch back to manual, bring it down, and then get some victim to catch it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but we find a solution, right? Can I give you the picture? Yes. So, so, I will tell you now what I will uh, try to do for the first time with our ROV, Jason, who is brand new. It just came to the university. Okay, so see, brand new? Yes, it's his uh, first mission. First? So, the procedure is like, um, like the drones. We make the path. You see that we have a um, two um, patterns, not one. Um, the, we have uh, different problems. First, you see here the drone is uh, all alone. We have a cable because the signal is missing under the water. So we cannot control the ROV otherwise. Like, uh, we don't have uh, GPS also. <coughs> So we have different things to to do, let's say, in order to proceed. Let's say we capture the images. It's a good point. Then what is the procedure? The same as the pictures we took take from the drone. First we have to add you will do that. First we have to add the photos to the software. Then we use 
all the algorithms that the, the software has. First one, we have to align the image, then the, pro the software has to find the points that are in more than one <coughs> photo and make a point cloud. That means um, a point file with, in which each point has he, C, and Z co coordinates. And then it produces a dense cloud using the, uh, the estimated uh, camera's depth. And then a shaded mesh model, it means a model with a shade, okay. And then apply the texture like uh, the one that we have from the auto photos from the drone. So this is the same procedure. We hope it will work. <coughs> uh, we have bibli bibliography for this. And um, I, I don't know how much time the software needs to do that. The problem is that without having GPS measurements, we, we can make a model, but a, a schematic one. We cannot put the result uh, into the correct position in Earth. In Earth it's better. So we have to, to find a solution for this. This is the first. Uh, attempt we will going to do. Uh, this is a picture I made uh, for you to understand the difference between the bathymetry or the morphology of an area and how better it is when we apply the the ortho um, when we apply the ortho photo map. We have a better um, understanding of the surface. Uh, the way we see it with our, with our own eyes. This is the difference. Okay, so the first mission is to <coughs> fly the drone to take pictures and to proceed with the schematic <coughs> 3D model. The second attempt we will do is set, to, this is the area we will go, uh, is to try to combine the photos from the drone with the photos of uh, ROV into a single file and to produce a unique model. Uh, until now, all the re research is divided into pieces. The onshore, the offshore, not both at the same time. And why this is important for us? Because uh, if we want to use this data to the unity to make the VR, there's a gap we have to cover. Okay. And uh, we don't have data so close to the coast. So we have to be a little bit, uh, I don't know the word in, in English, um, to play, to, to cover the areas of that we don't have data. But it, in 3D, it's very, it's, uh, very difficult. Yeah. It, I've said yeah. it's to bridge. To bridge, yes. Yeah. but. When in, in Greek, when we do something outside of a scientific workflow, we call it bakaliki. Um, it, mean, it means the small store that's not a supermarket, but it sells things you can find properly in the supermarket. So we are going to try the dark side of the workflow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, we do such things. We made such things for the workflows that uh, Mel and uh, Ugo to told you before, but we, with Fabio, we decided that we have to try to merge the two environments into one. Okay, that's our mission in Santorini. We will tell you what the, the results will be. So this is um, about drone and ROV. Tomorrow, then I want you to wake up now. It's very important. Tomorrow, apart from uh, this equipment, you will use, uh, you, you will try to collect data real time. This, <laughs> what real time means, means I can collect data now, and uh, you, no, Malcolm will be here, all alone, and he, he can, he can observe what you're doing in the field. This has been real time. We cannot have real time with drone and ROV. We have to go and collect data and then go back to the office and proceed with the data. Okay, but 
with the methodology that you will use tomorrow, with the application you will use tomorrow, I can proceed the data um, you collect at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a difference. So, for doing this, I want a geographical information system, and the one that you will use is ArcGIS. I need an application to collect the data. This is collected for ArcGIS. And then I will show you what we have to do in your mobile devices. So, first, is anyone here that doesn't know what is a geographical information system? No, everyone knows, okay. Which is the most common application that you use every day, or almost every day, you have already used um, in this summer school. Which is the most common one? Not Google Maps. Hmm. Not Google Maps. How, you, how can you find the way to come from your hotel here? Wrong answer, every time. You use the GPS signal to find the two places, the hotel and the classroom <coughs> here, but how you can come here is from a geographical information system, not a GPS. Okay, so Navigator is the most common geographical information system who uses, which uses GPS signal to work. Okay. So here we, I, I already told you that we are going to use ArcGIS, it's the most uh, common um, GIS software, a payable one, okay, it's not free. And uh, we are going to speak about mobile devices and how they can use this GIS software. So we, choose collector for ArcGIS, it's a, a part of the same company, ESRI is the company that, pro that produces the, the software and all the applications, like collector, and like workforce, the other application you will use in here for the evacuation. Um, and how can I work? I cannot go to the field as I am now, take my phone and go to collect data. <coughs> I have to do something first. What I have to do? I have to work in a desktop environment. I have to prepare the file that I will save my data. It's like um, Fabio um, told you, I have to, previous years, I have to take the notepad to write down my, my measurements. I have to take my compass. I have to take a GPS um, receiver. Now, in, nowadays, I have to make the file that will uh, store the data I will collect. And that means I have to make what? Spatial data I will collect them in the field. What is the thing I have to make in, in desktop? Geodatabase. I don't know if everyone knows exactly <coughs> what geodatabase is, but we can use a shape file also the most common file type, but <coughs> you will use a geodatabase file. I will make a geodatabase file for you. Um, so first I make the geodatabase, I make the shape file, and I add what? What I have to add in both cases? A yes, it's a part of uh, making the, produce, no, create the, the file. After create the file? A base map? Mm, yeah, it's a base map. But I'm not doing this on the desktop. I will do it on the online version. What else? I just make the file. I, I do I create new save file and it's over. I can organize the table like this. Yes, I need it in an attribute table. I need the place where I can store uh, the, the information that are not spatial. Okay, so you will need a field for the measurements uh, for temperature, for the air temperature, 
and also a field uh, to, to store the temperature from the soil or, or from the formation in general, <coughs> maybe a field for comments, okay? And also you will need a place to store photos because you, you can store photos <coughs> in these applications or video. Don't, don't store video, photos are enough. So I have to, to create such a file. And then I have to make it from desktop to online. Desktop is something that I have in my computer. Yes, but I want you to all use the same file over the internet. <coughs> so I have to make it online. So I can upload the file uh, to the online version of the program. This is the, the screenshot is from the online version. Okay, it's the, let's say the catalog of the online version. And then, this is Rhodos Island, the, the old city of Rhodos. And then I have to make a map, but it's not just a map, it's, it is a web map. Okay, the online version of the map. It's like the, the interface is like the one that you have uh, in the desktop version. So on the left, you see all the files that are in the map. And uh, on the right, you see the spatial distribution of the information. Okay. This is the point where you add the base map. And um, the company has um, base, different base maps that you can use for free. Mm -hmm. Or you can upload your own base map. I've done that. I share them publicly or in my organization or in, in my group of people that w work in, the, in this project and I'm ready. And then I have to download the application to my phone. And I prefer, I prefer to do that when I'm at home, when I, where I have an internet connection. Okay, and I will not use the mobile version, the mobile di data of, the, of my phone. So you will install on your iPhone or your Android uh, the applications collector for RGIS. You don't have to do it on every phone. You will have four codes, four passwords. So you will work as a group. Decide which phone will enter to the system and uh, use it, all of you, on the same phone to add measurements. Okay. So I install the application to the phone. The second is I, I, will, I enter the RTS online, the online platform, and then I provide the credential to enter the application. The application is free, but if you don't have credential, you can do nothing. Okay. And then I go to the field. I can see the map. I can add that data. This is uh, for Android. I can add data with plus tool. I can uh, attach photos. And finally, when I'm done, I send the data to me. Uh, what else I have to do? This is iOS version. I have to complete the attribute table, okay, before sending the information. Uh, how can I say where this information uh, will be stored? Okay, this is uh, information, just I write text. But where? The position is from my GPS, from device's GPS signal. If I want to change the position because uh, something happens and this is not correct, I'm not where uh, the program says, I can touch the screen and move the position. Okay. The same way, if I want to digitize a polygon, I simply touch uh, the screen to make a polygon. It's very easy. Any questions about this? Yes. Can it track a line as you Yes, the same. Yes. The problem is I cannot make, um, which is a very big problem for geologists, 
I cannot make <coughs> polygon with uh, with an autocomplete uh, function. Means I have a polygon yeah. and I want the other one to be exactly. Oh, uh, they don't snap. No. But you, when you bring in the, the shape files, yeah. yeah. yes, yeah. you can bring. Yeah, then yeah, you yeah. have to bring and and uh, transform or do editing. So. As we make the lines for Nick, many, we'll just draw the lines and then JS yes. and make polygon. Yes. No, it's not a line, it's a polygon. You will have a polygon file. You, have, you will have to make a polygon, not a line. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was thinking just to mark the contacts and fill the window. Okay. Same. <laughs> Any other question? I will, up no, I will. I have already uploaded the, this presentation, which has also yeah. steps. Uh, into the classroom. You all have an invitation to join the classroom. So you will see all the guidelines before tomorrow. And the last part, this is something we use to measure temperature. You don't have to do anything, you just press this uh, green button. I don't know if you see. You wait a little bit for the temperature to stabilize, and then you have to store uh, the measurement to catalog. How can I measure? Just not too, too close, but not too far away. Because too far away it means that it catches all the temperature of all the room. Okay, I don't want that. Just point for one meter distance to the place, to the point that you want to measure. You can do that on the way up to the to Kameni. Every time you map an area, you can also take a temperature. If you see something um, that is worth measuring, you can measure also. And be careful on the top of the Kameni, you will see uh, spots that the that the air is uh, um, hotter than the, the rest of the area. So you have to also measure there. Um, anything else? Okay, it's okay for me. I have a question on the yes. oh. under, underwater drone. Yes, what, what would be the area, the area extension you can survey? Uh, I think it, we have the same problem with um, with drones, we have limited um, time for, uh, from the battery. I don't know how much. It depends because it, if it has uh, waves, then it uh, slow. It, it takes more time. It's like windy. It's yeah. like the wind. No, no. It's just because I, in the model you show the one was like 15 meter per eight meter or something. Yes, it, like they, it, it is. A, it was from a survey in Milos Island, and they do the area in. Four, I think, four missions. It's not all one battery for all the area. So it takes more energy to do. Yes. Because yes. of the water. We have. I already told you. We have um, the the uh, waves, the the wind of the sea. Okay. Yeah. And also we have the cable. This yeah. is the, the biggest problem. <laughs> like, would you follow the thing on a boat, or you would no, just let from it the, go? No, from the from the coastline. Oh. Uh, the a, maximum distance we can go is uh, 100 meter. Uh, the cable is for 100 meter. Okay. Uh, if but you cannot go 100 meter and uh, go down uh, 30 meter deep right. depth. Okay, it's uh, the final uh, distance is it would be. Right. So okay. So the extension of your survey is very yes, much controlled limited. by your case. Yes. Anything else? Ah, uh, Fabio wanted something. Yes. Okay, come. We have the first result from the study of this morning. Uh, how are you going to show us? I don't know. Do you ah? Uh, do you have uh, this one maybe? I have an academia. This, this yes. <laughs> Before, I want to show you something more. Um, this is the classroom. We have different um, topics. OK? 
Okay, you can find the groups that you made. Okay, guys, this is just a very, very preliminary results because my computer is not powerful enough to process the data. Okay, this was the survey that we have this morning. All the points correspond to a picture taken by the drone for a total of 2,200 photos. Okay. This is the first result from Agiso, but what you're looking at is the sparse cloud in low quality. So it's the first step of the process, but in the first step of the process, you can see all the layers. Just in the first step, uh, we will process this data in high quality, not in low quality, the result will be much, much better. I tried to do something this night to show you tomorrow maybe this dense cloud. That it looks like the model, but you can see all the layers. So we are reaching the resolution that you asked us yesterday. We are trying to do this, okay? That's all. Oh, Avi. Have a preview. This is fine. Okay. Just to show you the model. Okay. Okay. So, uh, in the classroom, it will be uh, also a file with different <coughs> links that you can um, see on your own because the internet connection is not very good here. So that's why I'm I, I'm not uh, present something. It it will be different links. Uh, or different story maps. The story map is the application <coughs> that say you will use to uh, produce the report of the last day. So uh, have a look to, get, to have some ideas of how you will make your presentation. And uh, don't forget to gather data and information from every exercise to put it in the uh, story map. Okay, I will give you uh, the file from Collector.